Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma and today I'm so excited I'm going home. So I go to university in Hamilton which is basically like hour and a half from Auckland so I live like my family's in Auckland so I'm going home for the first time since before the second wave of COVID. I think it's been eight weeks I think so basically two months. And I, oh, I'm so excited, like you do not understand. So today's actually a Thursday, but it's currently 10 minutes past 11. So I had a class this morning that went from 9 to 11. So there's my last class for the week. I have tomorrow off. So I made sure I got my work done before, like now. If I can go home, chill out. Actually, I do have a group assignment to do. So if you're in my group is watching this, don't worry, I'm going to get it done. First stop, I went out for dinner last night and ordered a pizza. I didn't finish it, so... I've got the rest of it here for Owen, so I'm going to drop that off to him at work so he can have it for lunch. And then we'll be on the road back to Auckland. Ah, okay. Let's go! 20 to 1 and I made it! This is so bizarre to be home. I was like driving in and I was like, I feel like I haven't been here in years. Like new businesses popping up. I've just pulled up. I'm going to buy sushi for lunch. And there's a bit of a story behind this. The sushi place I've been going to. Literally, I think this was the first place I ever got sushi from. But they've like moved since then. This shop used to be like by where my mum and dad's business was. So I used to like go there like when I was at work with them and stuff. And just go get sushi. But they've moved and the same people still own it. And like normally they recognise me. Especially when I go with my mum, they recognise me. But I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if they will. But I'm gonna grab lunch and then go to Nana's and see if she's home. I don't think she knows that I was coming home so that I can surprise her. But driving in here was a bit of a, a bit of an experience because obviously in Auckland, <laughs> Taya warned me about this. So Taya's my friend at uni and she, I went to school with her and stuff. When I was driving in, everyone's wearing face masks. Everyone's wearing face I don't have a face mask. I'm just gonna not breathe the whole time I get, no, I'm just kidding breathe guys yeah i'm just gonna go in this is probably gonna cost me life savings but that's okay i'm not gonna bring you guys with me because this is gonna be super awkward but i'll see you in a second it's also raining so that's fun well that was amazing so wholesome i obviously can't drive with it like this because it's just balancing it on my dash but he remembered me and there was a lady behind me but he didn't see that she was there and it was like normally it's self-service because of covid they don't want people touching their tongs and stuff so we had to like tell them what we wanted so they all like came along and like anyway he was putting them through and he's like oh is this one for your mum i was like oh no, no it's not mine but he remembers that normally when i go and i get it for myself and my mum and he remembered that i have soy sauce and ginger but don't have wasabi and i was like oh. This man has an amazing memory on him. So that is on good customer service. But now I'm gonna head over to Nana's, but before I do, a little sushi haul. Is sushi in town? Hang on, let me get a better angle happening here for you guys. Kinda hard to see because my ginger's covering it, but this one they call it sweet and crispy chicken. So it's got like Japanese mayo and like coconut sugary type stuff. This one's like a tofu pocket with rice, teriyaki chicken and like Japanese mayo and sesame seeds. This one's teriyaki eel on top of a rice ball. This one's prawn, or like California type thing, prawn, surimi, and cucumber avocado, and I think that one's cinnamon avocado under there, like brown rice. Also, as I was leaving Hamilton, I forgot I hadn't messaged mum, been like, hey, I'm leaving, because that's kind of what we do. So I tried to like send it from my watch, because I can talk to my watch and tell it what to do, and it never sent. <laughs> so I just messaged mum like, hey, made it alive, home. I'm gonna go see Nana. I don't, I hope she doesn't know I'm coming because it's gonna be an amazing surprise if um if she does not know I'm coming. I just said a whole entire thing and I wasn't even filming, but I just got to Nana's. Her car's here, which means that she's home because fun fact, she's actually driven the same car since I was born and it's an old Toyota Corolla, literally, there's like 1996 and it's done like 400,000 Ks or something. Still going on, like amazing. My Nana's 80, something and she still drives a manual in high heels so she's killing it. They've also lived in, well my pop has passed away now but they've lived in the same house since, like when they got married which was 58 years ago. That's dedication. Alright I'm gonna go surprise her. I don't know if we're gonna get a reaction on film because she's never actually been on camera before so I don't, I don't know how else is gonna go. What should we like? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Lunch with Nana was a success. I just got home. It is 22 at the moment. Let me just talk about the things that have changed in my community that I live in since they left. Okay, they built a roundabout. Those things don't happen overnight. The local fish and chip shop, up for sale. I'm not mad about it because their fish and chips aren't that good, but like, that's kind of significant. And then as I'm driving past my primary school, my best friend Paige, Paige, I don't know if you still watch my videos, but hey, what's up? Um, her mum was like driving away and I gave her a big wave and she waved back and I was like... <laughs> so my parents aren't actually here at the moment, they're in Whangamata, so they're coming home 
tonight, I think. I just came home earlier to my washing. I literally have like three weeks with washing to do. So that's really fun. I don't know if I've grown, but this seems... Why is our house... The house doesn't shrunk, but everything just seems so tiny. This is so weird. Why is there a toy tractor over here? Yeet, yeet, skate, skate. Okay, there's no way I'm officially home until I've been into my bedroom. I can already smell it from down the stairs. Okay, <laughs> it's now half past seven at night and my family is still on their way home. Well, my parents are still on their way home. My brother, I don't think he's coming home. But what have I done this afternoon? Glad you asked. I finished off my accounting group project report thing that I had to do, like my contribution for that. And then I finished editing the video and started uploading that. It's still trying to upload. It's been trying to upload for hours, but my Wi-Fi at home here sucks. And then I sat down for like a good hour, hour and a half and organized my phone for iOS 14. It's kind of a bit of like a God theme. I'm about it. So I've got a few verses in there and stuff. But yeah, some of them like don't load. I'm actually heading over to Nana's place because mum and dad are on their way back and they're going to grab fish and chips and then go and have it at Nana's house. So I want to go and meet them there and have dinner with them. My order for fish and chips, in case you're wondering, is two crab sticks and some hot chips. Actually, that reminds me, I do need to get the garlic aioli out of the fridge, but I also need to pee. So I'm going to pee, grab the aioli, and then I'm going to shoot off. And I'll see you at Nana's. Look. Absolutely, absolutely yeah. full. Absolutely. Good morning guys, it is 5 minutes to 10 in the morning obviously and I'm awake, alert, alive and enthusiastic. I didn't go to bed last night till like 11 o'clock because I was just like talking with mum and like sorting stuff out which is quite late for me. I feel like watching this is going to be like dude that's like an early night for me but like trust me. I need my sleep. Leave me be. So I woke up this morning at 7.30, got to lie in bed for a bit because I don't have any classes today. So I just laid in bed for a bit. Actually got out of bed at like 8 o'clock. Made my way downstairs to the garage, did a workout. It was a really good workout actually. It's what I meant to do like a few weeks back with Morgan. And um, But her phone died and her alarm didn't go off so she didn't come to the gym. So I just made up something else to do. So today was the day that I actually did that workout and it was actually really good. I think it was like 330 calories or something. Which is a pretty decent workout. It was like 35 minutes. I had a shower. I've currently got Lorna Jane stuff on because today I have to film some content for them, which is a try on haul, which I think will come out like the, the video before this one. Very excited about that. This jumper's in the last lot I got from them, and these shorts well, you'll see in the haul. And I'm wearing a sports bra as well, which you'll see in the haul. But yeah, before I get into that, I need to have breakfast. There is no food in this house either because my parents have been away. So um, I had to go yesterday to the dairy and buy some bread. I'm gonna have some toast for breakfast. I don't even know if I've got any spread to put on it, but that's okay. Oh. Marmite. Also, speaking of Marmite, or actually speaking of Vegemite, should I say, Marmite, if you're from overseas, Marmite's like, I don't even know how you'd describe the taste. Just tastes good. But there's an English version which is called Vegemite. Okay, I have no idea why I said English because Vegemite is Australian and Marmite's actually English, but we have it in New Zealand. And I think it's like slightly different to the English one. Vegemite is definitely not English. It is Australian. And yeah. So when we went to Owen's Batch a few weeks ago, they had like not much in the pantry, but they had Vegemite. So we cooked our toast and realized there was no Marmite. So Owen and I were like, okay, we'll just do Vegemite. It can't be that bad. I couldn't eat it. It tasted disgusting. As a kid, I used to eat Vegemite. No stress, thought it was better than Marmite, and then I actually tried Marmite and realized how good it was. Never been back since, and I won't be going back to Vegemite. Also, Bit of a tangent but funny story when the Christchurch earthquakes happened was well, this part of the story is not funny when the Christchurch earthquakes happened I think it was in 20 it must be end of 2011 when the Christchurch earthquakes happened the sanitarium factory that makes Marmite had to close down and so there was a Marmite shortage and we found this out in March like the following year and then that week I went to school camp and it was also the week of my birthday. And I loved Marmite. So, at the camp, they had the little, like, you know when you go to a hotel at the buffet and they have, like, the little things of, like, spread that you put on your toast and stuff? I stole a handful of Marmite ones because I was not going to go without Marmite. So what am I doing today, you may be wondering. Well, my parents are actually not here today, but my brother came home from uni last night, so he's home. Um, 
there's my toast popping. But I wrote myself a little bit of a to-do list so I didn't forget anything. To have breakfast, film my Lorna Jane video, and then I have an accounting report which is due today at five o'clock, which is a group thing, I think I mentioned it yesterday. I have to delete like a hundred words from that to get into the word count. And I have to take a photo for Lorna Jane to post on my Instagram. I have a test to do this afternoon. Any time between 1 and 5 p.m. I have to do it, but it takes six minutes, which is so annoying. It's literally four multi-choice questions, but sometime between 1 and 5 I have to do that. And I want to wash my car, but the trick is I haven't actually washed my car in months because there's a water shortage in Auckland, so I have to wash it with a bucket of water. So we'll see how that goes. I have to make a thumbnail for the video tomorrow, and then I have an eyebrow appointment at 2.45. I haven't had my eyebrows done in like two months. They, you can't really tell from here, but they're... They need a little bit of TLC. Yeah, that's the plan. I actually messaged the, um, because my friend's mum does, she's a beauty therapist and does my eyebrows. Um, hey Shri, if you're watching, what's up? I messaged her last night, literally 11 o'clock, just before I went to bed, and I'm like, hey, any chance you can squeeze me in tomorrow? I was fully expecting a no, but I was like, no, no harm in asking. And she said, yeah, I think I can fit you in. And I was like, oh, sweet, like, no pressure, but like, if you can, that'd be great. And she said, yep, sweet, see you at 2.45. And I was like, thank you so much. So that's what's happening. But yeah, I need to butter my toast before it goes gross. Alright, I'm in my fit for the video and I've got my situation set up here with my clothes on the floor that I'm going to show. Also this, I don't know, this tripod's a little bit rusty and gross, but um, the tripod I normally use, I left at university because I wasn't thinking. But my dad's a photographer, so he had this one, which I don't know how old it is, but well, I need to move my camera set on so it's going to do the job. But it's kind of annoying because the one that I have, like I know what I have, to, like what adjustments I have to make for it to be the perfect height, whereas this one, I'm sorry if I have no idea. Okay, finished filming. This is literally still exactly set up where I just did the try on portion, so that's that and I'm still wearing the last outfit. But it's nearly lunchtime, so I'm thinking you want to make some scones because there's literally nothing in this house to eat. It is ridiculous. So there is the ingredients to make scones, so I might do that, but I don't know if there's dumplings. I might just have dumplings. I don't know. I do need to take a photo for Lorna Jane and I'm thinking I might do like now I was like a trendy during lockdown to like take a mirror outside. I'm sorry, this this is awkward. You can see me bending over. I don't really care. I'm mean, thinking I might do that thing where you take a mirror outside and like take photos and like whatever. But I don't know. I feel like I'm just too much of a weirdo for that to actually work. But we'll give it a go. <laughs> I might go do that now because the sun's out. Yeah, I'll go do that now. I also need to put my camera on charge because it's about to die. So let's do that. Hello guys, my camera was charging so now I'm updating you on what's happened in the last couple hours. It's now 17 minutes to 3 so I'm outside waiting for my eyebrow appointment. Since I last vlogged I tried to take a photo for Lauren Jane, don't think those worked out but if they did you'll see them on Instagram. Then I made some scones for my brother and I for lunch, FaceTime my brother's girlfriend for like an hour which is really nice. I miss you Sage, I know you're watching this and I miss you bro. But yeah, at my appointment so before and after um yeah they are very red around the edges but that's because my skin is so sensitive it's all good now i have to go to my cousins and drop my eyes are watering because it's so bright out here i have to go to my cousins and drop off a birthday present because my cousin turned two like quite a while ago but mum didn't get around to dropping off the presents so now i'm gonna go and do that for her but i won't vlog because she shouldn't be putting my little cousins on the internet so i'll see you guys when i get home Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I forgot that I was vlogging. I can't remember the last thing I vlogged, but to give you a rundown, I'm pretty sure it was yesterday after my eyebrow appointment. You can see now they've kind of calmed down a little bit, but it is now 9.30 a.m. the next day. So today's Saturday and I'm going back to Hamilton, but last night, I'm kind of mad at myself because this would have been good content to vlog. If you guys don't know, I have god brothers who are, one's my age and one's a year older than me and they've just moved out of home into a flat together so we went around to their flat and had dessert there and then we played um, i don't know if you guys have heard of the game among us i hadn't heard of it until last night tell me i live under a rock i do you it was like a bit of fun had some dessert they made some self sourcing pudding for us yeah so now it's time to head back to hamilton so i'm heading back down to hamilton with mum dad's coming but he's coming later because he's got a school reunion to go to but i'm taking mum with me we're going to look at open homes for houses to live in next year i'm playing with rachel taylor and morgan next year who I go to uni with at the moment, who are in the hall with me. So we're going to have a look at some houses that we could potentially be living in next year. We've actually, I've been very quiet about this because it's not really something I feel super comfortable talking about. But we've been looking at houses since May, just trying to get like a grip on the market and stuff. But since COVID, we thought it would like kind of plateau a little bit. We were wrong because now international buyers are coming in with all their money and now we can't afford anything because they are coming in and buying everything within like a week, which is ridiculous. Like we go look at a house and we're like still contemplating 
contemplating it and then it sold and I was like well that doesn't help us does it I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions on this so I will just kind of say as much as I want to say so don't ask any more questions other than what I'm saying but yeah we're gonna look at houses because my parents are going to buy a place and then myself and the girls are going to rent it off her. So my parents aren't buying this house for me to live in for free. No, 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 no. They're buying it so we can rent it off them so we can pay our rent to someone we actually know rather than paying it to some random. I feel like it's not super common but it's also not uncommon for parents to do this. I know a few other people at uni whose parents have done the exact same thing. So yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not saying this to show off, I'm saying this so you guys can be in the loop and understand stuff from my perspective. Obviously not going to say what area of Hamilton. That's the situation. I'm very excited. I've literally been going to open homes like every single weekend but obviously I haven't been saying that because it's been a little bit of build ups to be honest because we think we find the one and then it sells and it's like well how Chromia River I was attached to that house I was in love with it and now it's gone and someone else is living in it but it's fine. There's also the concept that if we can find a place like we're obviously looking for a four bedroom place but a lot of houses also have two lounges so if we find a place with two lounges, we'll have a fifth flatmate who we have one lined up, but I'm not going to say. You guys will know who it is. Like, you guys, if you've been around here for a while, will know the person who it is. But I'm not going to say who it is just because if they don't end up, like, if we don't end up finding a place that has room for them, I don't want them to, like, they know who they are as well, but I don't want people to be like, oh, why'd you leave her out? Like, it's not about that. It's about just literally finding a house. She wasn't planning on moving in with us, but we, like, we made the agreement if there was room that she would move in. So that's the plan. If I get some clips, maybe I'll throw them in for you guys. But apart from that, yeah, I'm heading back to Hamilton with my parents, well, with my mum. Dad's gonna meet us down there later on. He's not coming to the open home. I'm pretty sure he's still looking at open homes anyway. But, yeah. That's the plan. Also, I'm wearing these shoes. And if you own these, you know how sucky they are to try and put on and off. So this is going to be fun for the open homes. The only other shoes I have are my Ultra Boost. And the Ultra Boost will look dumb as with these jeans. So we're not going to wear those. Um, well, yeah. Outfit of the day. Jumpers from Country Road. It's got blind embroidery on it. Jeans are A brand. Shoes are Vans. Face is from my parents. This is what I'm taking back to Hamilton with me. Plus my laundry bag downstairs. This is a bag to take to Owens tonight because it's Saturday night. And I don't want to stay at uni by myself. And this is a bag of other clean laundry stuff and my dad just got home he had to go to the rubbish dump and dump some green like trees and stuff so i think since he's home we're gonna boost so i'm gonna go pack my car and it was at this point that she realized it's actually wednesday and she needed to finish the vlog so those clips you saw there were from saturday morning obviously now it's not saturday morning house hunting that's what you'll be wondering about how did the house hunting go this is not focused. Right, so mum and I were a bit late getting going. I said in that how we had to boost. Yeah, we didn't boost. Um, we took a wee while to get going. We didn't get down to Hamilton until 25 minutes to 12. And the open home we were supposed to be going to first started at 11 o'clock. So we missed that. And we managed to get to the next one. So we had like six back to back or something. Which was really fun. We went to Two Birds Eatery for lunch. It was really good if you follow me on Instagram. You would have seen that. It was a good day. It was good to like just see a bit more of what's around. It's hard because like a lot of things are by negotiation or auction. And if they have an actual price like set on them. You can guarantee that when the offers come in they'll get like... 50k more than what they're asking which is a bit ridiculous what can you do about it nothing so yeah still hunting i think my parents might go and look at more places on friday so the day before this video comes out but yeah we're not really in a rush because we have until mid-february next year to actually find something so although it would be nice to find something sooner rather than later so we have a bit of security over it we're just happy to go with the flow at the moment we have steph from harcourts and hamilton working with us and she's amazing so yeah, I've edited literally up until this point, so I'm about to chuck this clip in. But this is probably my favourite vlog that I've filmed in a very long time. So if you've made this far in the video, please comment a glasses emoji. Let's do that, that'd be fun. Yeah, but apart from that, stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. What just happened there? Did you guys hear that? Mom, do you mind if I tell the vlog what we're doing today?